Feminine glory is fruitful. It produces, it builds, it creates. And it does so in ways that are profound and staggering and surprising and beautiful and frequently messy and hilarious and ridiculous. Fruit is never ever tidy and building things always makes a mess. So keep your eye on the harvest and realize that in this world God made, the mud is an essential ingredient. Think about the finished house and realize that the sawdust is a given. As we build, as we glorify, as we try to imitate God in our fruitfulness, we should make sure that our vision for what that will look like is shaped by what God himself has shown us and not what minimalist lifestyle magazines claim the beautiful life is. On the other hand, the mud isn't the goal, the sawdust isn't the final product. We're trying to build something glorious and we need to be neither frightened of the dirt nor distracted into thinking the dirt is all there is. So be the glory of your husband. Be the concentrated, intoxicating, incarnate poetry that tells the story of death and resurrection and then throw yourself into the task of glorifying. Be fruitful, build your house, work hard, be ambitious, be productive, learn more, run harder, take the gifts God has given you, the desires he has given you, the constraints that he has given you, and then figure out how to weave those into something glorious, something compelling, a beautiful aroma that can't be contained and it beckons a broken world to come and taste to see that the Lord is good. Even Exile by me, Rebecca Merkel, now available on audio wherever audiobooks are sold.